Okay, so it's been a few weeks. Um, I probably should have checked in, but things have been crazy. So, uh, my job's just been go, 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 go. And the longer you go, 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 the tireder you get. So in addition to the fact that I've been pretty exhausted, um, I also had something going on with one of my teeth and it was causing me a ridiculous amount of pain. Um, and so I actually came off the road for an entire week, um, basically just because I couldn't deal with the pain. You know, kind of the same way that uh, the longer you're go, 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 the tireder you are, uh, the longer you're in pain, the worse it hurts. It can be the same exact level of pain, but it becomes more and more uh, impossible to tolerate as you go. Um, you can't think, you can't sleep, you just turn into a total grouch, um, and it was pretty miserable now. It's pretty much how it went. Um, and I'm really struggling. I feel like things are so nuts out here. Like, I don't actually know any other drivers who run quite as hard as I do, um, or bend as many parameters as I do to get done what I do. Um, and so I'm beat, and that's why I've been missing. So, I wanted to at least stop in and say hey, um, and I hope everybody is safe. Um, you know, I've just been doing a lot of pondering lately, a lot of thinking, I don't know, I guess putting the bigger things into perspective, um, and I love being out here, I do, and the money is good, but it is just not the most important thing in the world to me, so I'm going to be out here for a while, but hopefully I'm not out here forever. Hopefully I can get things together so I can enjoy the things that are important to me. I feel like I've worked 12 plus hour days for the last 10 years pretty much. Pretty much since I got my CDL. And before that I worked a lot of overtime anyways. But I'm finally at a point where I'm, I'm exhausted. I don't know what an 8 hour day is like. I mean I have to take a 30 minute break by the time my eight hours, my first eight hours is up. Most people are done working at eight hours. I have to take a 30 minute break at eight hours. Oh, and now I don't even have to take a 30 minute break. Now, as long as I'm just not driving for 30 minutes, you say, what's the difference? What's the difference between a 30 minute break and not driving for 30 minutes? Well, because legally I can actually still be working. I can be getting fuel, um, at a shipper or receiver getting loaded or unloaded, which by the way, we log off duty anyway, so it doesn't eat up our time, but technically that should be on the books. Um, technically a lot of things should be on the books that aren't, but the short version of a long story is as long as I'm not driving for 30 minutes, um, by the time my eight hour is up, then I'll still have an additional three hours. So I can drive for 11 hours plus that 30 minutes. Um, Honestly, I mean, you get a total of 14 hours. It's just the only 11 of it can be driving. 14 of it can be working. I can work for 14 hours and I can drive for 11 hours as long as it's contained within that 14 hours. So if I start driving at noon, I have to finish driving by 2 a.m. if we started at noon. So, um, you know, I can't drive... 10 hours and then wait 6 hours and drive the other two. I mean, it still has to be within those parameters. But, um, yeah, we we work a lot. We work almost twice as many hours as anybody else. So, the really hilarious thing about that is, you know, first of all, truck drivers really don't make as much money as people think. This isn't the freaking 80s. Um, and the average median salary is around 45000 a year. And I know that because I used to be a recruiter. Um, any good recruiter is going to do their research, whether it's, you know, national averages or regional averages or what other companies are offering. But the average median salary for a truck driver is $45,000 a year. Um, and that's not including the fact that, you know, new drivers are going to make a lot less and maybe experienced drivers are going to make a lot more. We're not really talking about owner operators, just really company drivers. Median salary, $45,000 a year. Um, now, 
people are like, mm, well, decent living. Yeah, decent living. Um, most people also don't get home as often as I do. Most of these drivers are getting home every three weeks, maybe every four weeks, hell, maybe even longer. Um, in addition to that, they're working twice as many hours as most people are basing that off of. Most people are saying, wow, $45,000 a year, you know, eight hour shifts, go ahead and do the math that way. Don't do that. Do the math based on what we actually work. Let's just say we only work 11 hours a day. Do the math based on 11 hours a day because that's how much drive time we get. I guarantee you we work more hours than that. But even based on that 11 hour day, it's, it's a lot less money than it looks like because we also don't get paid time and a half. There's no overtime out here. We don't get overtime. There's no double time. There's no, you know, if you drive, you drive past your eight hours, you don't get time and a half on your mileage. Instead of 50 cents a mile, you get 75 cents a mile. That's not how it works. We don't get extra anything out here, um, which is interesting, honestly. Uh, there are very few industries that that's legal. I think nursing or healthcare is another one where you can which, which is really dangerous now that I think about it. I'm not really sure that I want uh, someone who is exhausted to be handling me in any capacity medically. Uh, and I definitely don't think I want people out here overworked driving these trucks. And so rather than addressing the actual issue, like paying us fair wages instead of 35 cents per mile, but paying us wages and working on our working conditions and everything else out here, not giving your drivers a hard time when they need to stay home because they have a toothache and they need to be on painkillers, which turns into a, it's absolutely insane. You know, if I take a painkiller, technically I should not be in this truck for 72 hours because if I get pulled for a random and I fail a drug screen because I have a painkiller in my system that was legally prescribed to me, that I have a prescription for. I'm not talking about illegal narcotics. I'm talking about drugs to which I have a legal prescription. If I fail a drug test, because that is still in my system, that is gonna cost me absolutely everything. Absolutely everything. But my employer wants to bug and tell me that, you know, we can't afford the truck not to be moving. The type of conditions that we deal with out here are very different. It doesn't matter how tired you are. My boss knows right now that I have not slept today, um, and rather than me leaving in the morning to bring this load down here, I'm in Atlanta right now, rather than me leaving in the morning at 5 a.m. to bring this load down here, I would have got here at about 10.30. This place is first come, first serve. It means I don't have an appointment to get unloaded. It means that we're going to get unloaded basically in the order that we got here. Um, she wanted me to leave tonight to get down here that I find out way after the fact. I find this out while I'm at the laundromat and have just put my clothes in the washer. I've been home for 20 hours at this point. But Thanksgiving is this week. For those of you watching in the future, Thanksgiving is coming up. So um, she's trying to make it to where she's able to capitalize and make as much money off of me as she can before she sends me home for Thanksgiving. It's a whole other issue I'll tell you about in a minute. So, um, she wants me to bring the load down tonight. It is 2.44 in the morning. I got here at 2.20. I am parked at the receiver who is closed. They don't open till 8 a.m. Like I said, first come, first serve. There's a line of trucks all parked out here waiting for this place to open. Um, and so, rather than coming down here when I've had rest, she knows that I haven't slept. So I haven't slept. I've been awake all day. I've just driven five, five and a half hours all the way down here to park here. Now I need to be up in five hours so that I can check in and get a dock. Um, and so then I'm going to have to creep through the parking lot going less than five miles an hour so it doesn't kick my logs on back into a dock and get unloaded and then wait until I've had an entire seven hour period on my logs as sleeper birth. That's what I'm logged under right now is sleeper birth. I'll have to make a video about logs at some point, but technically I'm in the sleeper right now, even though I'm not, I'm sitting in the cab at the wheel, but my books say I'm in the sleeper. 
Now, once I have a seven hour break period, it will give me back all the time that I would have had um, left to drive if I hadn't stopped here just now. So it'll basically extend that 14 hour period that I told you you have to drive everything within that 14. Well now, it's gonna give me back all that time and basically extend that 14 hour clock. So then I'll be able to leave here, go get loaded somewhere, and I'll have to take a three hour break there. That'll give me the rest of my 10 hour break and give me back the rest of the time that I drove initially to get here. So it's gonna give me that five hours back. So whatever I have left at that point from leaving here and going to get loaded and then whatever time I had getting down here, so add that five hours to it, I'll have to run all that out before I can actually stop tomorrow. So I'm gonna sleep for five hours, not having slept yet today, I'm gonna get five hours of sleep tonight and basically have to run an entire full shift still. Probably, an, probably a full 14 hours is what I'm gonna run off of five hours between basically two days at that point of sleep. Um, these are the type of conditions that we deal with out here. And then we have a discussion about Thanksgiving Initially, it was um, whether or not I wanted to be home Thursday and then leave out Friday. You're going to get me home Thursday and then have me leave and go deliver a load Friday to come back home and take my 34. That's not going to happen. Um, I'm going to my mom's. And I had asked her in advance if I could take extra time off for Thanksgiving, to which she agreed. Now we have a text message conversation earlier about Thanksgiving and I'm, I'm telling her, you know, I don't plan on going out until at least Sunday. Realistically, I shouldn't be going out until Monday. Okay, just let me take some time off. She's trying to get me home Wednesday, which means, you know, the way she does things, I'll get home at 11.59 Wednesday so that we could say it was still Wednesday. <laughs> um, because she'll she'll do that she'll try to count that as your time uh which i think is ridiculous so i'll get home sometime wednesday and then she's gonna want so thanksgiving is gonna be thursday don't count wednesday i'm gonna get home late wednesday thursday i gotta get up drive the three and something hours to my mom's house do thanksgiving and then either stay in a hotel and hang out a little bit friday and then come back home or come straight back home, depending on what the weather looks like, um, as to whether or not we're gonna need to bring the dogs in, because we don't leave them outside when it's freezing. Um, and so, she's talking about potentially having me come right back out Saturday. Okay, you ever hear of such a thing as food prep? Okay, do you want me to eat at fast food restaurants all week? Because that's a whole nother issue. Whole nother issue. I adhere to a little bit different of a diet than most people. I can't just hit up fast food restaurants and truck stops all the time. I'm gonna need to go to a grocery store, buy groceries, and then cook it, and then put it in containers to put it in my tiny, 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 tiny mini fridge. I have a microscopically tiny mini refrigerator in this truck. Um, I also am gonna need to do laundry. I mean. I shouldn't have to beg to do regular things that people need to do. My time off for Thanksgiving, I'm not getting paid for it. So what do you care if I take an extra day or two? Most weekends when I go home, I don't get paid, but it's only for a 34 hour period. Um, if I take extra time off, I don't get paid for it. Not only that, anyways, I was going to complain about a ticket I got. I got an overweight ticket the other day. Not my fault. The shipper loaded this retarded. Absolutely retarded. But, um, and I knew it was going to be overweight. But I had to run it. I didn't have time. There was no, everything is go, 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 go. And that's what I mean. At this point, I'm just tired. I probably seem cranky. I don't want to seem cranky. But I'm tired. So. It is what it is. Ultimately, I just wanted to say hi. And, um. I'm still here, and um, that's about all I got.
So, I'll talk to you soon. Stay safe. Yep. We'll talk soon.